Hey everybody, welcome back to Some Days Here. I'm Kim. I'm Daryl. Princess is inside. She's going to give you a tour of our Alpenlight Hillcrest 31 foot RK Anniversary Series fifth wheel that Kim and I purchased to go this winter around the United States. So if it's the first time that you're here, please subscribe, like, and we welcome comments. For you people that have come back and have been subscribers for a long time, we appreciate it very much. We really do. Alrighty, buddy. Here we go. Before we get started here, Princess is waiting patiently. We got some people we want to thank and helping us on this renovation. Yes, we do. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. First of all, it's going to be my sister Daylene. Uh, she helped us tremendously with all the uh, uh, window Painting, treatments, cleaning, and window the valances. Yep. My sister Deb. She did a lot of painting. She did the. A lot of the uh, handles. Priming and all the handles, she went in and did them and everything. She helped clean. I mean, it was a lot of work on this camper. Also, my brother-in-law, uh, Joe, uh, he helped us uh, get the various tools that we needed and some uh, supplies. So, as we say, we always take a little bit of Joe and Day with us while we're traveling <laughs> around the United States. And also, we'd like to thank my cousin Vicki and uh, her husband, uh, Bernie, for allowing us to stay up on their property up in Washington. Without them, this would not be possible. No. This took a lot of work. This took approximately three weeks to do. Uh, we were living full time in Maddie, our uh, 41 foot uh, fifth wheel. And while we were living there, we remodeled this. So to keep this video short, we want to go through it. We'll try to throw some stuff at you of what we did as far as the floors and the walls, where we got a few things. We'll try to keep it as short as we can, but with this type of video, it's probably going to go a little bit long. But having said so, stop the madness, start the adventure, let's go. All right, as you enter through the front door, like we showed you before, um, we went right to our left. And as you can see, um, Kim has done a lot of di uh, different uh, colors and stuff in here. The black and white and gray is the main. So show them what you did, Kim. We primed and painted all of these, the cabinets and everything. These were a gold, so to save money, because we were on a budget, we decided that we wanted to see how, how, how good we could make this camper for as least money as possible. So we bought the spray paint with the primer in there, and we, we painted all the gold knobs, primed and painted them with the black. And I think it turned out really good. And these, we did it really the easy way. We just went in and, and um, recovered over the old thing. We shook them out and cleaned them off real good and everything. And then me and um, Daylene just went in and stapled and put up the new valances. And all that new cloth that you see there came from Hobby Lobby. Yep. Uh, if you want to know the number of that pattern, uh, put in the comments down below and Kim will be happy to uh, post it for you. And we made the, just some little slide curtains with the little hook things and just so we could open them and close them. Just and Kim, Kim also prophecy. got that material from Hobby Lobby. She sewed those herself on her sewing machine. <laughs> the sink here. Oh, yeah. I love my sink. We put in a new knob and stuff. Okay. Faucet. We put in a new faucet. We put in a new water. Uh, um, this was already here, but we put in a new soap, soap. dispenser. It and came with the set. The sink we, we left it. here because we couldn't find a sink that would match the hole that we had. Plus, they're not cheap either. No, they're not. And it would have took not cheap it, either. It would have took space underneath of us. We got yeah. this at Costco, I think, for a hundred dollars. Yeah, it was on sale. So, so they said we we, we touched painted up. all of this with the hot, the heat uh, paint, and it really did not hold up very well at all. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I put this on top because it's really ugly, but it's starting to come through. This is not like food. This is where it's like peeling back off now. So I don't know if the heat resistant paint is just not good. If you know anything else that'll work, comment below, please. 
besides buying a new stove. All right, the refrigerator is <laughs> basically the same. We just painted the outside wood, and if you remember, yeah. all this was an oak uh, wood. Uh, finish just like a normal RV and of course we went in and painted every bit of this yeah little TV we went and bought a new uh, I believe that's what a 40 inch TV 42 something like that, something we still like have that. To do something with this we gotta, yeah we're gonna put it up here in, in this hole I'm trying to mount some different stuff here I may just put a fan up here that's why this is this is, this is where uh, the battery is uh, connections that I got my 12 volt running to for charging and stuff like that so I put that there temporarily just to run a few things I might work on that in the next couple of days since I'm gonna have time but the TV, I ran the cable in down through there, up the refrigerator, uh, and out to our dish that's on top. And I'll show you the exterior in a different video. The uh, furniture came from Maddie. We took it out. If we're not going to be using it at, um, at the river, we might as well put it in here and use it and save some money. So if that's just what we did. If you remember, this furniture here originally was on the boat. Yes. And we bought it. It's assembled furniture. It lifts up. It's got storage underneath. Yeah, from Home Reserve. And we left the, the, the val I mean, the, um, what are these called? These the are day-night shades. We, we couldn't leave them on the actual kitchen windows because one of them was broken. It didn't look right. So that's why I made these little curtains to put here. So we just left these. There. They really don't match that good, but when you, when you close them up at night, nobody sees it but us. So. That's right. <laughs> and also, as you see here, what is this? That's a Rec Pro. Mm-hmm couch yep this also came out of maddie we purchased this online we saw was it tito i think so had this and we purchased this uh on their recommendation and it's worked out very good it's a recliner yeah it's nice and up here used to be where our uh old tv was we don't know what we're going to do with this right now it's, it's looking good just where it is <laughs> kind of little catch-all basket <laughs> stuff like that we put a puzzle together Kim put that together, and we put the glue on it, so she's got that hanging there in the background. Good Cabinets time, underneath, yeah. the fuses and stuff like that. My solar, uh, 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 I got my solar stuff in here, uh, and then just a little catch-all in our radio. She put up a little coat, coat hook up here to catch a few uh, coats and, yeah. and stuff like that, so we put that. And Daryl's cheetah pit. That's right. And... All right, in here in the bathroom, the bathroom is basically the same. Kim put new curtains up here. Uh, I bought that adjustable shower rod on uh, Amazon. You can see these. I had to cut this to fit and remanufacture some of it because it was too long. But that was no big deal. If you got a few skills, you can make that happen in the shower curtain. And we put a hydronics uh, shower head up there to conserve water. So that has worked out very well. Oxygenic. Oxygenic, yes. And look at my sign that I found. I love my sign. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got, it's got, this is a pretty deep cabinet back in here, too. I mean, it's, it's pretty big. Yeah, a lot of good storage in this unit. This really, this really unit. does. I'm not opening it because that's a disaster right now. But you have all these drawers here. And this is the, um, we put up the little backsplash. We had some leftover tiles for Maddie. So we put it in here. And I think it turned out really good. I think so, too. And it's got a lot of storage up in here. So it turned out really good. This door closes. We never close it. This, I just painted the other That's what we, we'll hang our towels off of that yeah. when we use it for the shower. And then we did the bedroom. We put the, we had this little TV already, so it fit perfect. So we just put it in here to use it. Yep. What we did is that had the old big square old time TV in here. I mounted this bracket, got it off Amazon, hooked it to the back of this TV, left the base on. I can still move this TV in and out, but it's good and secure and goes down the road just fine. Yep. Then we have all of our storage here for clothes. And you have these little cabinets back here. They're not very deep, but they're they're good enough to where you can put stuff in there and yep. keep it from going around. Again, all this was painted in here. All the walls, yeah. in, 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 almost entirely in the whole RV, were were painted by uh, Deb and Daylene and, and Kim. So you got some storage up here. Did, redid the valance here. Yeah. It's got the day-night day -night shades. As you can see, during the demo process, I took all this out. We repainted that gold that was up there and took it out and uh, put in new carpet. Yep, we'll show you that on the way out. And this, this had these ugly gold thing, uh, light fixtures, and we couldn't, we couldn't get it to, to work right. The paint kept coming off, and it had too much white and the glass and stuff, so we decided we'd get rid of them. And we had this from the boat that we never used, so we decided we just put this little 12-volt 
fan in here, which has worked out great because it puts off a lot of air. Yeah, this is connected to a 12 volt wire right here in the back. And can you feel that? <laughs> so that works good. You just got to pay attention. It doesn't take off you and bump into it in the middle of the night and, and do stuff. Up here in the front, we, this is a new mattress that we put in here. Yes, this is for Mattress Insider, the 8-inch um, coal interspring mattress. We love this mattress. This, Normally, when we get a mattress, we Daryl's back hurts for like two weeks before he gets adjusted to it. This one, he just went in, and it's been perfect ever since. This so. mattress was recommended by RV Geeks. So they did a video on it. Uh, if you want to go look at a video, uh, check out RV Geeks. Uh, excellent uh YouTubers uh, that, of course, are coming out in their movie along with a few other people. But we went off their recommendations, and I'm I'm glad we did. Yeah, I mean, it was a very good recommendation because it, it really is a good match. The light sconce up above, we, we painted those. Those were gold. Kim put a little... Uh, Me and Daylene put that up, our little thing. Isn't yeah, it cute? That, that came out good. Well, again, we redid the balances up here. She went with a gray on the vertical ones and kept with the checkered on the horizontal. That came out good. As you can see, we uh, it reinstalled the uh, cubbies back there, mm -hmm. just like they were. And this down here, uh, we'll try to show you. Um, hang on, you're gonna go for a spin. This right here, all this carpet, as you remember, I pulled all that blue one-piece yeah. carpet out. These right here are carpet tiles. They're yeah, glue-down carpet tiles. They are approximately, I don't know, one foot or maybe eight inches wide by maybe long three yard. feet long. And I ran them across there. And as you can see, it fit in there real good. It stayed down real good. Haven't had a problem with it coming up. So we're, we're happy with that. that. So in case we do spell something or, or mess those up, you know, heck, we can take them out and replace them. We do have some extra spares. Right. But all in all, that's it. We, we kept the... Uh, the ventilation here the same with the fantastic fans we didn't change those at all they're the same we changed a lot of the light bulbs led yeah everything's led except for these the fluorescents they're just too expensive to change and we don't use those very often right. unless we're running the generator we can run them off the solar it's not a big deal but they are an energy hog we but, still have to paint this light here up didn't even notice we didn't do that. Yep. We didn't. <laughs> There's a few things we got left, but we just yeah. we were in a hurry to get on the road. There was weather coming in in uh, in the Smoke Spokane Ann. area, so we hurry up and threw everything together so we can get across the passes yeah. over to the plains without worrying about going up and down the road. But anyway, but Princess, all in all, we think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, Princess P, you did an excellent job. Again, we're going to do a video on Princess explaining where she came from and, and how we, we got her. We're just trying to get everybody up to date on where we're at and to get some past videos up. So we hope you like this renovation. If you got any ideas of what we can do. Uh, or to, add. Or, yeah, or change or anything like that. Uh, we welcome any comments down below. Again, if you need some paint numbers or, or cloth numbers or anything like that or anything you saw in here. You know, give us a call. Uh, give us a, give us a call. <laughs> Put it in the comments down below. But anyway, thanks for stopping in. Have we a great appreciate weekend. it very much. Just remember, stop the madness. Start the adventure and go LSU.